I can't get over that fun noise. This thing is just so much fun. What's going on guys, it's Justin here and people are holding on to vehicles longer and longer and that is the case for our 2011 Toyota Tundra here. We're going big by installing a sweet Magnuson supercharger on this deal. But first, be make sure to like and subscribe to the Summit Racing YouTube channel so you don't miss out on anything. So the golden question is, is why a Magnuson supercharger? They literally put everything in a few boxes, you need to install this thing right in your driveway. And Magnuson's powertrain integration technology gives you the ability to gain big power without negatively affecting the everyday drivability of your truck. This thing will drive just like your stock Tundra until you're deep in the skinny pedal making fun noise and boost. And the result is constant power delivery over the entire RPM range, not just in the high end. So what's the installation like? That's for me and you to find out together. So let's get to it. So the first step of our supercharger install is to get all the coolant drained out of the cooling system. And we're gonna go ahead and throw fresh coolant in this thing when we put it back together because all these supercharger parts and cooling system parts are easily corroded. So we're gonna use Toyota approved coolant for it. So I'm gonna drain all the coolant out into my matrix uh, drain pan here. The thing works really great. I have a couple of these at home as well. And um, yeah, let that drain out, let this thing sit for a while, get the system dry and then move on getting the supercharger installed. We got the coolant drained out of this thing, um, got the upper radiator hose yanked nice. off it, and now I'm gonna start taking apart the top of the engine and some of the PCV system to make room for that big old supercharger. So I pulled the intake off, I'm gonna pull some of these hoses off, get this stuff out of the way, get the intake off. There's a lot of steps to this, you know, I'm not showing you guys everything because it would take all day, but I'm gonna get back to it, get this tore apart, and uh, I'll update you guys the next crucial step. We've got a lot of the coolant hoses and PCV hoses disconnected and removed now. I just pulled all the screws out of the throttle body and we're gonna get that out of the way. Now we're gonna be reusing this on our supercharger, so make sure that you keep the bolts and the throttle body handy. So I finally got the cooling system all the way disassembled, what Magnuson requires you to take off. I got all the tubes and hoses off, and uh, it's finally time to start bolting on new parts. And the first new part to go on is this coolant crossover tube that comes in the Magnuson box. So I put uh, gaskets on it, switched the sensor over to this tube, got the tube on, got all the bolts started. Now I'm gonna torque it and uh, move on with the process. Uh, installing this thing is actually pretty easy. The instructions for it are fantastic and Magnuson literally puts everything you need in the box. So I'm gonna get this thing all the way tightened up, torqued, and then uh, we're gonna be moving on to some other cool parts. So the first new part I bolted on was this crossover tube, the coolant crossover tube from Magnuson. Um, they supply it right in the box. I switched the sensor over and uh, threw this thing on, threw a little silicone on it, and um, yeah, got the bolt started. Now I'm getting this thing tightened up and I'm gonna torque it and move on to the next step. So we got our coolant stuff figured out and I also went ahead and threw the tensioner on with the new pulley for the supercharger. And then I went ahead and pulled the fuel rails off and got everything around them cleaned up because we don't want any contamination as we're pulling these things in and out. I pulled all the injector seals out, got those clean because you, it's uh, Magnuson recommends that we actually reuse them. So I cleaned them up, they all look good and we're not gonna replace any of them. But we are gonna put some brand new injectors in this thing because it's gonna be making a little more power with the supercharger. So we need the fuel to support it. 
So I yanked the fuel rails out of it, got them drained, and then I'm gonna head over to the bench and get the injector swap. And the nice part is, is Magnuson sends the injectors that you need right in the box. Like this truly is, there's everything in the box that you need to do this, except your tools and your time. We're also gonna go ahead and throw eight new plugs in this thing. So once I get these done, I'll go yank the coil packs and get the plug swapped. So I'm gonna head over to the bench now and get the injector swapped. So here the Magnuson is installed in all its glory. I can't wait to get this thing out and go test drive it. Now, I did leave a lot of the boring stuff out for you guys because Magnuson does a great job of laying this install out in their instructions. And I didn't want to give you guys a step-by-step. -step. I just want to do an overview on this kit and on how fantastic it is. Now, we haven't got to drive it yet and they do recommend a break-in process. So we're going to go out, break it in, make sure everything sounds good before we give you guys our final impression on this kit but I'm sure it's gonna be fantastic. So let's go out and get this thing test driven. So what we're doing now is we're just breaking the blower in, driving this thing around, listening for any weird noises, checking for fluid leaks, that kind of stuff. So we're gonna drive this thing like this for about 10 miles to make sure everything's good. And then we'll do some wide open pulls and see how this thing really runs. But just, uh, that's the cool part about this thing is, you know, just driving it now, it drives like a normal truck. It's um. We did not sacrifice any drivability with this blower, which is really cool. So far, first impressions, I'm very, very happy with it. Man, this thing just pulls so well on the highway. Like I've mentioned before, the drivability of this truck is all still there. There's not a crazy lag, it doesn't run weird. It is just like, uh, you know, your good old 5.7. There's nothing sacrificed with this kit, and I think it's nothing but an improvement to an already stellar platform from Toyota. Like I said, I have nothing but great things to say about it. If you're questioning whether you wanna buy one of these or not, this is, uh, I mean, Should be your answer right there, that sweet, sweet blower noise. I just love it. I could drive this thing around all day and it's uh, you know, it's all about smiles per gallon when it uh, comes to something like this. Man, after that break-in and test drive, this thing put a big old smile on my face and is truly impressive. You know, we just did a little just beat down run to make sure it didn't make any weird noises or anything like that. Then we really got to test this thing out to see how it pulls and how the thing responded to some boost. And it took an already impressive platform with this Toyota motor and really knocked it out of the park. Now, as for the install, Magnuson did recommend some fresh coolant and an oil change. So we went ahead and did that too. You know, we threw some Royal Purple oil in it, which we really love that stuff. Along the lines of the install process, this is a really labor intensive install and I recommend taking a long weekend to do it and having a buddy around to help you set that blower on because the thing does have a little bit of weight to it. So until next time, I'm Justin with Summit Racing and you know I can't wait to do some more cool stuff like this. So we'll see you guys later.